The University of North Carolina has one very special teammate. In today's Eye on Pets, Rena Ninen takes a look at this all-star and four-legged player. The University of North Carolina baseball team just climbed to number two in the rankings. And while a lot of that success has to do with the work they're putting in on the field, there's also something pretty special happening in the UNC training room. His name is Remington, and he just became the first team service dog in the country. Yes, we are the first in the ACC and I believe first in the country. At home games, Remington brings a bucket of balls to the umpire before the first inning. He stands next to his teammates with hat and mouth during the national anthem. He helps his owner bring the officials water throughout the game. And at the Bark in the Bosch event on May 18th, he even threw out the first pitch. It's priceless, really. Um, the boys have just kind of integrated him into the team. He's really not a distraction at all. He's just part of them. They'll come in here and play with him or do some of his command sets with him. You know, if they've had a bad day at class or a stressful exam. And the exam period was huge in here. There was a lot of them coming in to pet him. I said, we should have a list on our injury report that says, you know, coming in for treatment or coming in for Remington, because most of them are coming in for Remington now. He also helps injured players with their stretches and rehab exercises, keeping them motivated and positive during what can be a very difficult time. I had to go down with an injury this year, so this whole spring I've been rehabbing and um, doing therapy and stuff like that. So I spent my fair share in the athletic training room, but um, having him in there kind of helped me out with my exercises and stuff like that. Just kind of take your mind off of the whole big picture and just focus on day to day and it's been a fun experience. They really turn the corner emotionally very quickly. They don't feel sorry for themselves for long. Um, sometimes when people are hurt, they can get into um, kind of a depressed mode where they're not a part of anything, but he just kind of uplifts everybody. We've had, you know, kids have surgery in the past, but this year it's just been different. Um, we really don't have too many kids on our injury report right now. And last year we had pages, so. He's the only thing that's different. Since Remington's appearance in the dugout, the players' grades have even improved. I think we had one of our best semesters academically. I don't, I don't know if that's a direct correlation with Remington being here, but he, he takes the stress off you. You come down here, um, especially with classes and, and ball games at the same time, there's a lot on your plate. So being able to, to see a familiar face, and you know he's going to be there every day. Um, and it's just something to put a smile on your face and something to encourage you, whether you realize it or not. Raising GPAs is a pretty impressive feat for a golden retriever. But then again, Remington is not your average dog. He knows over 100 commands. He can wave, turn, open and close the refrigerator. He can even read some of his commands off cards. Yes, good boy. What's this one say? Yes, down, good boy. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good listener. It's just really awesome to see. Eventually, he'll be impacting hundreds of people every year. Um, not only does he get to work with the baseball team, but Terry Joe uses him in her physical therapy office. They're going to start doing after school read programs with children that might be struggling. So while it's great that we have dogs that do choose one person and work with them their whole life, Remington's helping Terry Joe, but he's helping so many other people along the way. And I think that's a really big deal. So Remington may be the first of his kind, but every indication is that he's likely the first of many. The baseball rookie is, after all, hitting it out of the park. Rena Ninen, CBS News, Chapel Hill.